A valuable piece of modern art leaves a big hole when it's gone. Banksy's mural of a girl hula hooping with a bicycle tyre has been delighting people in Lenton in Nottingham since October. If they want to see it now, they'll have to travel to a street art exhibition in Bury St Edmunds in May and pay an entry fee. Student Dan Goldstein witnessed its removal and spoke for many in Lenton today. I think for a lot of people that are quite a scary time. It was quite, it was, it was a nice light. It was, I don't know, it was a little bit of joy, I guess. Um, and yeah, it being gone is a big disappointment. Galleries, exhibitions, security and entry fees all run counter to graffiti culture. But having a world famous painter spray hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of art onto your wall is not the golden ticket many of us suppose according to the man who bought Hula Hoop Girl. It's not a wonderful um, gift. It's very often a poison chalice. There was a beauty parlour in the building, in the shop behind it, and it was disrupting their business. Every 30 seconds, somebody would come through the door and say, oh, I don't want to disturb you, but... And, of course, it stops the people working on their clients. So the clients were getting annoyed, spy booth in Cheltenham was argued over, painted over and redone before it was finally removed in 2016. And this piece in Birmingham was defaced by another artist shortly after it appeared. John Brandler says the protective perspex placed in front of the mural was actually damaging it and that the elusive Banksy is best understood when viewed alongside his contemporaries. You go to a museum to look at a number of paintings because they look better in comparison to other pieces. So, you know, how does Monet relate to Manet relate to Pizarro relate to Picasso? If you only have one painting on its own, you can't, it doesn't fit into anything. Nottingham City Council did try to find a way to keep the piece in Nottingham and called its departure regrettable. But John says he would be happy to bring the exhibition to the city so that those who had not seen Hula Hoop Girl yet would still get the chance. Banksy, of course, could not be reached for comment. Callum Watkinson, ITV News.